Well, a very good morning and welcome to Ringwood Parish Church as we bring forward our first ever Sunday Live, our first Sunday live streamed event. And you'll be able to join in with songs, they'll be on the screen for you. You'll be able to join in with the prayers, they'll also be on the screen. And during the talk, we're going to invite you to post your comments and questions and hopefully we can get a bit interactive as well. So um, let me just give you a few heads up for the week ahead. We're moving basically anything we're doing online for the time being in response to coronavirus, which we'll be praying for later in this broadcast. Um, but we're doing three things. We're doing Sundays Live at 10.30, where you can tune in like some of you are now and worship with us in your own homes. We're doing Fork for the Day, and we're posting those up every day. And then every weekday, we're doing 12 minutes at 12 o'clock, where we will be interactively praying for healthcare workers, for families, uh, for the vulnerable, for anyone affected by coronavirus. But today is also Mother's Day, a day when we get to celebrate the mother figures in our lives. And we're going to be thanking God for mothers, and we're going to um, be celebrating all things to do with mothers during our broadcast. So more on that to follow. In 1 John 4.18, we read the words, uh, There is no fear in love, because perfect love casts out fear. And so we're going to open together in prayer. The responses will appear on the screen now. If you would like to join in with the words in bold, wherever you are, you're welcome to. Lord,
Just before Ian comes, remember we're taking your comments. We'll put as many of them up live as we can. Ian's going to be asking you some questions, and you're welcome to post your comments or, or follow-up questions, um, and we'll try and deal with those live as well. But let's welcome Ian as he comes to speak to us this morning. Good morning to you all, uh, and welcome to our live feed. It feels a bit strange to be doing this, but it's great to be here uh, in front of you. So hi uh, to everyone. Uh, can I also just say to my family, if you're watching this, please be kind in your comments. Okay, moving on swiftly. Well, we've had uh, read to us by Matthew, uh, Luke uh, chapter 2, and verses uh, 33 to 35. Uh, and it's a, an amazing story. It's when, of course, uh, Mary and Joseph bring uh, Jesus to the temple. They bring their, their sacrifice uh, for uh, offering for him. Uh, and it says in the scriptures that Mary and Joseph were amazed at what this man, Simeon, had to say to them. In fact, a little bit later on, after the passage, if you wanted to read a little bit further on, you will discover there's another lady called Anna. And she also was a prophet or a prophetess. And she prophesied that Jesus would be uh, a king. But what Simeon had to say, why, why did it bring uh, great uh, wonder uh, and amazement to Mary and Joseph? Well, there are four reasons. And don't worry for those who think, oh, no, we're going to have a four-point sermon or anything like that. It's going to be very short and succinct uh, points. And the first, I think, reason why uh, they were so amazed at what Simeon had to say to them was their first one was that they said that Jesus was a gift uh, from God. My heart, and I'm sure Matthew's also goes out to all of those who uh, perhaps are planning to have some baptisms. And, and this Sunday at All Saints Church, we've planned to have a baptism. Uh, but at those uh, baptism services, one of the things I like to say to people is that, yes, baptism's many things, but one of the things that baptism is about as well is to say thank you uh, to God for the gift uh, of this uh, child. And in many ways, this is what uh, Mary uh, and Joseph were doing. They were coming uh, to bring their offerings to God, but also to say thank you for this amazing uh, gift. And Simeon says that this gift that they are offering is actually a gift from heaven, from God himself. And that's amazing. The second thing, I think, as well, is that Simeon recognises that Jesus is the Messiah, the chosen one sent uh, by God. No pressure then on Mary and Joseph. The third point, really, for me, is that Simeon said Jesus would be the light of the world. And boy, do we need uh, some light right at this time. Just stopping there for a moment, I just want to say these first three points, that Jesus was a gift of God, uh, that he was the Messiah, and that he would be the light of the world, makes me think of one word. And it's an important word I think we need to hear at this time, and that is hope. This part of the story says to me that Jesus is the hope of the world. Now, the final reason I think uh, they were amazed was that Simeon said that he would also bring joy. Now, don't get me wrong, I do recognise it also says he might bring trouble to others. But there is an emphasis here that he will bring uh, great joy. So I want to speak specifically right now to those of you who are Christians. And of course, those who are not Christians can listen in on this point. But the point I want to make is remember something very important. When you feel down or low or stressed or waking up in the middle of the nights like so many people, remember that first love. Remember that moment when Jesus first spoke into your heart. He gave you a real sense of peace, but also joy. And I'm not talking about a kind of happy, happy kind of joy. I'm talking about a bedrock joy, a sense of that you have hope, that you have a future, and that God really does love you. And that should bring a real sense of peace and an inner joy. But there's no doubt that Mary and Joseph would have been incredibly proud parents, like any parent is proud of their children. And they would have treasured what uh, Simeon and Anna said a little bit later on. And we are also, of course, uh, treasured today by our parents or by those who have cared for us over the years. And today uh, is uh, Mothering Sunday. And of course, it's our opportunity to give back and say thank you uh, to our mums, to say thank you for the love and the commitment that they have given to all of us. And so as I finish, I have uh, three questions, and Matthew's going to come return as well. Uh, hopefully he won't knock over the flowers as he comes, but anyway. Uh, and the first question is, how 
uh, can we show our love to our mums or others we love on this day? And of course, in these incredible troubled times, bearing in mind what the government is actually uh, giving us advice about. Secondly, in what way can we as Christians, and this can be also to anybody, to be fair, bring hope and joy where there is currently fear and great anxiety? I'm sure many people want to try and help and get involved. And uh, one from Matthew, which is this, who are our mothers? So come back, Matthew, you can join me. Don't knock the flowers over. Uh, and let's see what's been happening online. Oh, no, you're do this. We've got to keep the distances, haven't we? We're trying to create a two-metre gap between us. But um, thank you to Ian for his encouraging message to us this morning. Uh, we're seeing lots of engagement. Ruth Freeman has just come in and shared Isaiah 41, verse 10 uh, with us. Um, isn't it great that we have the assurance that he is with us every step of the journey? that we are all on, and we know that motherhood is one of those really massive journeys. Vanessa is joining us. Um, good morning, Vanessa, from Harbridge Church in our family of churches. It's great to see you here with us. Do comment with your um, answers to Ian's discussion questions um, and post any comments you have on what it is to be a mother um, and who are our mother figures, because they might be uh, biological mothers, or they might be a motherly figure in our lives. It might be a teacher um, or someone who's nurtured you over the years. Do comment um, with your your views on that. Shall I remind them of the questions again? Shall yeah. I, so, okay. Uh, how, how can we show our love to our mums uh, or others we love this day and in these troubled times? In what way can we as Christians bring hope and joy where there is currently fear and great anxiety and who are our mothers? And Linda is commenting in that um, some of our mothers are no longer here, and we do recognise that, and we'll pray for mothers past, but who still are very close to our hearts in a bit. This is always difficult, isn't it, when our oh, Mothering Sunday, uh, particularly when we've lost loved ones. So, uh, yes, we really want to pray for those people. And I think Ian and I are mindful of the people who would love to be biological mothers but struggle to have children and the pain of that journey is something that's not lost on us this Mothering Sunday. We're aware for some miscarriage is a very painful part of your journey uh, and we will be praying into that um, in our prayers later. Chris is joining us. Uh, Ian just mentioned peace. Uh, yes, if we have the peace of the Lord we can deal with anything. Thank you for reinforcing this amazing message. Sue and Chris from, I think I might St. John's. Um, thank okay. you, Sue and Chris. And comments, some very personal comments are coming in um, online now. Um, let's just wait a few more moments. We're going to be praying for all of the comments um, made. Um, and for those unspoken. But first, we're going to watch a video from Home for Good, an adoption charity um, who have produced this amazing resource. Welcome Isabel as well, who's just Hi, joined Isabel. us and wished us a happy Mother's Day. <laughs> we're gonna watch this video, check it out.
So this is our first ever live worship in this way, and we're aware that the video was playing, but the sound wasn't playing. So friends watching, we will post the video um, in the comments section um, shortly after the conclusion of our service this morning. So um, you'll get to hear um, the brilliant comments of those adoptive mothers, foster mothers that we were hearing about, or not hearing about, in that discussion. Ian's just going to pick up on some of the Facebook comments, and Emma who's our producer this morning, is going to throw them up on the screen so we can see them. Yeah, I think it's just really hard, isn't it, this time? Um, me and Ian were chatting about this, how difficult it is for us as, uh, as uh, parents, but also it's difficult for those who have parents who are a lot older than us and who are being isolated. Uh, so my heart really goes out to you. Um, obviously, the government is giving us guidelines of how we're meant to be sort of behaving in these situations. But I must admit, and this is to you, my mum, if she's watching this, uh, we're going we're gonna to pop around later on. But don't worry, we're not going to come uh, uh, into the house or anything like that. But uh, I said to my mum uh, the other day, instead of flowers, I think it's going to be a bottle of wine, I think, uh, uh, during this time. So, uh, you know, do show your love for your, your parents, particularly if they're older. But just remember, of course, that we've got to be careful at this time. Uh, we don't want to keep spreading... Uh, this horrible, horrible disease at this uh, time. But mums uh, are, are so important to us. My heart also goes out uh, to those of you who uh, have lost a, a mother over the years. Uh, it's this kind of difficult thing, isn't it? Because Mothering Sunday is an opportunity to celebrate motherhood, to celebrate the joy uh, of, of that. But it's also a great reminder of the difficulty uh, and the sadness as well of losing uh, a loved one. Uh, so, Matthew, have you anything else to say yourself or about things? Or are you just going to let me stand here and uh, waffle on? I could tell a funny story if you'd like, or you'd no. rather, probably rather I didn't do that right now. Thank you so much, Ian. <laughs> Ian has a distinctive role on our ministry team, um, and we you appreciate it. I, I do, I do. <laughs> um, but we're going to say thank you for your comments and the views you've expressed. Emma will keep posting some of them up. Thank you, Lal, for joining us from Biston Church. It's great to have uh, you with us as well. But we're going to turn to prayer now. Um, please do post any prayers for coronavirus and we'll try and flag them up on the screen. Um, please make sure that anything you, you post, um, you're happy for us to share on, on the screen. Um, and in a short while, we're going to come to the collect, um, which we'll pray together. But first of all, we're going to pray for health workers. Uh, we know the NHS is under significant pressure at the moment and so we're just going to pause and pray for our doctors, our nurses, our healthcare assistants, our, our A&E receptionists, um, anyone involved in frontline healthcare. Let's pray for them now. Father God, we give you thanks for all those who are involved in your ministry of healing to people. We pray for our NHS. We thank you for those who work within the NHS and are putting in so many hours over and above what they would normally do. We pray that you would, um, you would bless them. But we also pray very practically that we're hearing in the news that it's increasingly difficult for NHS workers who are giving selflessly of their time to get basic food resources once they finish their shift. So we do pray that all the food and all the practical uh, necessities of life that NHS staff need um, would be available to them. And we thank God for the supermarkets who are making provision available to our, to our healthcare workers for that. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We're also going to pray for the vulnerable this morning. We know that so many people are self-isolating or social distancing. And for many, that is really difficult. And so we want to pray for you. Um, especially if you don't have internet. We're aware of friends who have just moved house and are waiting for internet connections to be installed. So there are lots of people who are both physically and digitally isolated. Um, so let's pray for them now. Father, we thank you for all your people. We thank you for people living in the communities served by Ringwood Benefits and for communities who are joining us online now. We pray for those who are isolated at this time, for the elderly, for the vulnerable, for the sick. We pray that you would comfort them and be a constant presence in their homes and their lives at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <coughs> One of the things that we know happens at challenging times 
is that um, people who have mental health issues um, struggle all the more, both um, in their condition perhaps, but also in, in the support available to them. And we know that health support uh, for the mental health is stretched anyway, and it's acutely stretched now. So let's pray for all those <coughs> who are suffering from mental health issues. Father, you love us all with equal love and grace. We pray for those who struggle in mind and spirit, for those who res wrestle with psychosis, for those who wrestle with depression and anxiety, for those who find fear overwhelming. And we pray that in your love and mercy, you would reach out to those affected. We pray for the few mental health resources that are working tirelessly to support the vulnerable, that you would bless them in their, in their work and that they would be conduits of your healing love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We're also aware that businesses up and down the country are shutting up shop until further notice and are struggling financially. And these businesses employ local people um, and they serve local communities. And so if you're watching and you're a small business owner, particularly this morning, we want to pray for you and, and all those experiencing financial hardship as a result of coronavirus and the measures being taken to um, arrest its spread. Let's pray. Father, we give you thanks for retailers and small businesses up and down our nation. Uh, we thank you for what support has been arranged for them. We thank you for their service to the community for committed local businesses who care for local people. And we recognise, Lord, the hardship that those businesses are experiencing at this time. For those who have closed and wondering what the future holds, we pray that you would be with them, that you would help them to resurrect businesses that are being shut down as a result of the spread of this virus. And we pray your hand of blessing upon all retailers and small business owners. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So we're just going to go back to um, the uh, feed now and check what people are praying for. Um, so um, Lynn Lloyd has joined us and says, I hope I grow to be the most amazing mother to my daughter and my mum was to me. Well, Lynn, we think you're an amazing mum. Um, to your daughter already. So um, we just pray God's blessing on your motherhood and thank you for being an example of that. Um, let's just scan any other prayer requests that are on here. We said we would pray for those who have struggled to conceive. Um, we know that IVF is a very painful process, um, both emotionally and physically. We know that several of the mums watching will have experienced miscarriage and struggle to, to have children um, of their own. And so we pray, Lord, that you would comfort those who are grieving the loss of children, that you would be with those who are heavy in heart for the, the desire to have um, children of their own. And we pray that your Holy Spirit might be their comforter and guide. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So we're going to turn um, to the collect now, and if you want to uh, join with me, you can join in by saying amen at the end. Let's pray together. God of compassion, whose son Jesus Christ, the child of Mary, shared the life of an earthly home in Nazareth, and on the cross drew the whole human family to himself, strengthen us in our daily living, that in joy and in sorrow, we may know the power of your presence to bind together and to heal. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we're going to sing together again. Um, please do join in wherever you're watching from. We're going to sing God's praises. Um, we're singing, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Do let us know if the sound's not working. We're obviously having some issues there, but let's join together in worship.
Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul. I worship Your holy name. guys uh we're coming to an end now just a couple of things to, to say uh, as you probably know uh this, this hand isn't it um yeah, that we have uh, some flowers uh if you want to come and collect they've been provided by the mother's union so thank you ever so much uh to the mother's union uh for producing these uh proceeds they will be in this church uh and you can come and collect them for mothers or, or for a carer uh, if you uh, so wish to do so uh, we also had, um, where is that one uh, from Jane Chick, uh, just to say uh, a prayer for all the parents who are going to be homeschooling. Uh, so I'm just going to say a little prayer for that. Dear Lord, we just thank you for all parents and we just pray now uh, for all the parents at the moment who are going to have their uh, children at home uh, with them. 
and we just pray, Lord, that you will be with them and help them uh, to deal with this very difficult uh, time. And we just pray, Father God, that it won't be a, a time of too much stress, but it'll actually be a time of joy and, and getting to know uh, our families even better. And so we just pray uh, for all parents. Uh, and we also pray for the education systems as well, uh, for your blessing upon them this morning. Amen. Okay. So thank you so much for joining us for our first ever Sunday Live. Please do spread the word and tell people that they can come and be part of future Sunday's worship. Um, you're just welcome if you're not a church person, but you just want to watch uh, and work out where God is in this crisis. Um, but in a few moments, we're going to pray God's blessing. Do be sure to like or follow our Facebook page, Ring with Benefits, um, and then you'll receive notifications of our future live feeds and videos. But let's just pray uh, for God's blessing on our lives. As we, get, as we finish this broadcast. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst us and remain with us always. Amen. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back next Sunday oh, at 10.30. What did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> it was the end.